Hey peeps, and welcome back to another episode here on the Hope Map. Now again, second episode in a row, we don't have a bobbin show, and that's because, uh, instead of Bob ascending peeps, I, I have ascended. I don't, I don't know how this happened. You see, uh, when I started to get ready for recording today, it was, it was the middle of the night in Ark, so I decided to go lay down and then go do some other things while I waited for you know, the, the night to pass so it could be daytime so we could record with some light. And I come back and I am many, many feet into the air. My, my raft isn't even rendered and I'm scared to move. I feel like I'm going to immediately die, but let's, let's try it. Oh, I can't even move. I can't even jump. Oh my gosh. Um, uh oh, how do I, how do I get out of this? Can I, can I get up? No, I, I can't crouch or get out of prone. What is going on right now? Well, I, I'm like, I, the game doesn't consider me flying because I can still eat cooked meat and stuff. And I, you don't lay down while you're flying. Tapajara, please help me. Um, I I might actually just have to kill my character for this, peeps. I might have to do that. Can I throw, can I throw Ken off? Oh, well, there you go. Bye, Ken. All right. Well, uh, if, if we fall now, we're super dead. But I think I might actually have to kill my character anyway. All right, well, this is a rare scenario where I actually have to d murder myself with commands. All right, and there we go. Okay, thank goodness our body at least falls. What a what a weird intro. Oh, wow. Oh, it's weird to see the, <laughs> yep, there's my body. It's weird seeing the wake up animation. All right, but yes, welcome back, peeps. I, I, I guess I already did my intro, so let's not dilly dally. Hi, Bob, let's pet Bob. Anyway, where's Ken? Ken. Are you out and about? This parasaur is not having a good time. I will take this egg. I would like to get Ken back. Where, where is Ken? Oh, there you are. Hey, right. all's well that ends well, peeps. Okay, so yes, in the last episode, we got two pretty good male Ceratosaurus tamed. We have this one and this one. This one being the worst of the two. It only has good stamina. Well, I guess it also has better food but i mean who cares about food so you are the prize possession of last episode and thankfully peeps even though these are both males i did actually find a good female it is a 270 with i think over 50 points into health which is exactly what i was asking for in the last episode so i'm glad we're at least getting it today peeps and it is over here if it hasn't despawned I'm gonna be so sad if it has because I basically found it and then went back to base and and logged out right so in theory not much time has passed because you know this is single player so while I'm logged out the world freezes so I'm gonna be really upset if it's not here but it, it should be and I have the trap and we, we actually have everything we need to tame it we have the kibble I have probably not enough of this high protein meat but it should be fine what is this oh my god that's a alpha basilisk okay um yeah let's let's try to kill this basilisk i i really didn't expect to see an alpha basilisk here of all things can this kensho leave like what what is your purpose for being here kensho just just go away is there another basilisk here or is that oh my god there is another one hi okay uh, i would like to not have my character be killed oh, oh we got the alpha <laughs> okay um okay so basilisk can spawn here i did not know that and come on I, now i have a couple more ideas for more progression but right now oh i don't want to be in his face please i don't want to get acid bombed oh my gosh dude a 180 has 15 like 16 000 health that is absurd oh my gosh all right like what a it, just interesting start to this in, uh, entire episode peeps oh my goodness all right, I'm probably gonna have to look at the screenshot I took to find this Serato. I really hope it's still here. I'm gonna be pretty upset if it's not for, ooh, hi, a, a tech griffin, hi. Uh, oh, that's a, ooh, ooh, okay, max level terror bird and also very high level tech griffin. Okay, um, I'm very conflicted about that peeps because on the one hand, absolutely an amazing creature to find, but I also was kind of considering doing this series or as much of it as I could without taming flyers. But I guess that's going out the window. But I, I really want to get the Strato first. Before we do anything else, I want to get the Strato. No, 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 no. Stay away from me, Micro Raptor, you a 
absolute monster. Oh, 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 is this you? Yes, okay, yeah, 51 points into the health stat. Very, very good, peeps. So let's go ahead and get you tamed. Let's make the trap right now. Also, there's a Titanosaur right here, peeps. I don't know, ooh. Oh, that was a Serato. <laughs> that scared me for a second. But yeah, so all kinds of crazy creatures spawn here, apparently. Basilisk, Alpha Basilisk, Titanosaurs. I definitely want to try and tame a Titanosaur in this series. It's been too long since I've tamed one. And actually, now that I think about it, I'm not sure if I've ever tamed one on PC. If I have, I don't remember it. So let me know if I have in, in the comments. But I also did remember to bring a bear trap. So that's very nice. Okay, let's go ahead, switch all of these to manual and get the Serato in here. Oh, this is kind of sad. It's just bullying the moss shops. Oh, but they're fighting back, peeps. All right, who will win? A level 110 moss shops who's dead. And a 190 who I think actually just healed. Well, here, let's let's save this moss shops. Dude, actually, this Serato looks crazy cool. Oh, I'm just letting it hit me. Let's, uh, let's not just let it wail on us. Thankfully, it has very low melee, so we should be able to easily tank its damage. But, dude, the white and red on its back? That looks actually, like, too cool. All right, there we go. He's locked in. And now we can just simply go around. Oh no, the Moss Chops is here. No, Mr. Moss Chops, no. Oh gosh, all right. I'm, I'm sorry, Moss Chops, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please, please run away. No, I don't want to kill you. Be a survivor. If I hit you one more time, you're dead. Yes, yes, okay, thank goodness. I don't know why, but I really didn't want to kill that Moss Chops. All right, let's go ahead, hop in the trap. Please don't start trying to run away. Okay, I have three of these, so we should guarantee be able to do this. And yeah, even with the, you know, buff, I guess I did to taming speed, it still needs seven. So I didn't make it crazy easy or anything, but it's definitely more lenient. So yeah, I guess we did strata taming all last episode. So I'll just bring you peeps back once this actually tamed. Oh my God, no. Stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, I don't know how that Titanosaur didn't just aggro. Well, I am like super stuck. Okay, um, are you still getting junk? I can't tell. Uh, yeah, I do not know how that Titanosaur didn't aggro. I don't know if you're getting junk or not. Is this working? Oh my gosh. What? How did I end up like this? No, no, don't, don't hit it. Oh my gosh. Why aren't you? Okay, well, here, let's do this. Why are you not getting junk anymore? Do I seriously have to? I might have to just like pick up the gate gosh dang it all right there we go there we go no i'm still stuck i'm tra I'm trapped on this gate that's so cool this is so cool i love arc today all right come on just give me give me the right thing no nope. okay cool dude what just what is going on right now thank you yep okay is that titanosaur coming back again no okay are you are you even getting drunk it doesn't look like it's even getting drunk peeps Oh my god, it restarted completely. <sighs> Just, I, nothing can be easy. Nothing can be easy, peeps. Well, I better, this better be enough to be able to use this one and, and tame it. Oh my gosh. Nope, dude. Why, why is like everything in the world attacking me right now? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 We are, we are very low on health. Why? Why? Just, do not freeze me. Do not freeze me next to the elephants. Just why? Like, uh, out of nowhere, Manigarmer starts attacking me. And then, just for some reason, this guy comes, Dinotherium. Like, what did I do to you? Oh my gosh, please, please die. Please, please, you're a 270. I would have loved to maybe potentially tame you. You have okay stats. Get down here, dude. Get down here, I want to murder you. Oh my gosh, dude. My Dinoticus is almost dead from all this. Where's the Dinoticus? Okay, hold on, let's go, let's go feed the Serato. What is going on? I feel like uh, everything is against me right now. Come on, get get down here. Yes, die, 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 die. Oh my gosh, the Titanosaur is getting stuck. This, uh, we ran out of meat because the Serato got distracted by the Moss Chops. At least that Dinotherium isn't chasing us anymore. Oh my gosh. Why? P please, can I have some peace? Holy heck. No, dude. I just killed the tech griffin trying to save it from the basilisk. Gosh, dang it. All right. Well, rest in peace to the tech griffin. Why are there so many basilisks all of a sudden? Like, there were none here. I've been here plenty of times. And now, just for some reason, there's three back to back. And one was an alpha. 
But dang, yeah, rest in peace to that tech griffin. I was really looking forward to getting that, but oh well. I guess it, I guess we are sticking to our... Oh yeah, I don't have any cooked meat. I fed it all to the to, to nitrous so he wouldn't die to the Serato. Oh, big up Serato! There we go, peeps. All right, you better have been worth it because my goodness and of course it just it never ends right there's a mega Nura. kill the mega Nura. there we go okay I, I got real worried that they were gonna hit the titanosaur okay serato hi hello you look amazing what are your stats though yes 70 points into health and 76 into oxygen which means we now have high 70s in like all of our stats if we combine all the good stats between all all three of our serratos all right we've got a lot of serrato breeding to do when we get home peeps we've got three serratos that we all need to combine into one perfect serrato so we've got a lot to do i'm gonna go kill this fiomia we saw up here i wish i could also be taming this tech griffin but it's not to be i guess peeps but that's how it is sometimes in our nope no nope, no tech raptor it's mine it's mine this is my high protein meat thank you thank you Maybe we should explore the Arctic today. Well, maybe not today, peeps, but just sometime soon. Actually, I don't know how cold is this Arctic because we have like no winter gear. I guess there's the mammoths and such over on the one other island with that Alpha Rex. So we could potentially get some fur armor without too much difficulties. Ooh, I like that there's just random aberrant creatures around. I wish more maps had aberrant creatures. They're so cool. Alrighty, peeps. So thankfully, the Stratosaurus egg is yeah, it's a cold leaning egg, so we can easily incubate it by just lighting torches and other fires near it, which is super nice. But speaking of fires, peeps, if we check our refining fortress here, you can see we now have a lot of metal smelted up. So I believe we now have more than enough to make our ascendant long neck. Rifle. I don't want to make a thousand, just one. And of course, we're short on wood. All right, we should have wood now. And of course, it also starts raining, but that's fine. Let's make the long neck rifle. All righty, peeps. And we can start making a tranquilizer darts as well. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that while we wait for our Serratos to get busy, I suppose. All right, let's replace the crossbow. Thank you, crossbow. You have served me well, but you are now no longer needed. Are you still incubating? Okay, good, because sometimes when it rains, it cools down and, and that might have thrown off your temperature. But yeah, I guess let's let's get to crafting bullets, peeps, and I will see you all. I, well, I guess if anything interesting happens or if we get the perfect Serratos. Well, heck, peeps, so I am here after just being absolutely and completely murdered by like a billion Thylas all at once. And now that I'm here, there's so many on this tree. Like three of them jumped down at me. So there were three on the tree right here. And just from this angle, I could already see three more of them. So just like, what the heck? All, oh my gosh, hello, Compy. Yeah, but just all the Thylas in the Redwoods are here for some reason. Oh my gosh, all right. Well, um, yeah, the reason I'm over here, peeps, is because I'm looking for either rare flowers or rare mushrooms so we can make rare, no, no, not rare fertilizer, but re-fertilizer. Can I get this without you guys getting me? I think I should be fine. Hi, yeah, but we need re-fertilizer for the S plus hatchery. Oh God, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. I thought my freaking Deinonychus would have killed all of them. That's a 280. Oh my gosh, this took forever to get back here with, with pomegranate. Just go away, Trudon. Okay, is the is the new Thyla dead? Hello, Ken. Oh my gosh, no, there's another there's a new one right there. <laughs> what what is this, peeps? This is like the Thyla tree. Can I even get my stuff back? Hello, Paris. Or can can I? I feel like this guy's gonna jump me as soon as I as soon as I try it. And if if I die, I have to use one of the Serratos to get back. And I don't want to use the Serratos. Until we have our perfect Ceratosaurus, run! Oh, okay. I think he like saw me, but he didn't do anything about it. What? What do I do? <laughs> this is so intimidating. Oh, uh, please, please. Like, if if he aggro's, there's nothing I could do because they home in on you like a missile. Come on, it's right there. Just a little further. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, we can go home. Oh my gosh. 
Alright, so if I ever win a Thyla. Oh, he's looking at me, peeps. That's crazy. Are you the Thyla that just killed me? You're a 280. Can can they go back on the trees? Oh, he's not looking at me anymore. Dude, that's crazy. I've never seen so many Thyla on one tree. Alright, well, safe to say, probably no rare mushrooms up here anyway, so we're gonna head on home and I guess continue the uh, Serato breeding. Oh, thank goodness, peeps. A Spino has spawned right next to the base, which you might think is a bad thing because it's a, you know, an apex predator. But if I go below the water, peeps, <laughs> there's, there's so many fish. Oh, oh dude, all the saber tooth salmon going after the, oh my gosh. Hold on, wait. This is, a, oh, dude, the frames. Oh my God, dude, is the, is the Spino going to lose this? Do, oh, oh. <laughs> I've never seen a Spinosaurus get obliterated that quickly by fish. It's its own prey item. I, I don't know why there's so many fish here, but there are. And at some point, we're going to have to either do a dino wipe or kill them all because, oh my gosh, it's so laggy. Thankfully, once we go like any distance away from the water, they all despawn so I can just I can just exist with actually good frames, but it's just so silly. Every time I want to cross, I forget about them. And then I'm like, why am I at like three FPS? And it's because fish. Alrighty, peeps. So while we are waiting, ooh, hello, Death Carno. Yeah, while we're waiting for, ooh, da. Oh, wait, is a male? Oh, we might tame that, peeps. But I don't know. I think I think we are kind of out of, of Carno range. There is a chicken nugget, RG, though. And it's a 324 with good stats. Great weight, great stamina. Okay, that's a, yeah, that's a really good RG. Okay, I want to tame that as well, but what? I was I was coming over here so we could tame that Dodicarus. Oh, it's over here. Yeah, so now that we have a long neck rifle, we should be able to tame that Dodic without it going into its ball form. I guess it depends on how much it's healed. It's been a long time though, like arc day count wise. So it should, if it even is still over here. Oh, is this him? Yes! Okay, so he's not fully healed, but that should still be okay, especially if we're hitting headshots with the Trank Darts. Okay, let's see how much damage we are doing. All right, boop. 73, but for how much Torpor is the question? Okay, dang it, not over a thousand, but that's, this should be good enough. Oh no, dude, the RG might die. It's got a Titanoticus latched onto it. Please don't die, RG. Please. Oh, oh. It jumped off, it jumped off. Oh, oh. Okay, what level is this Dynon? Okay, that was a 340 Dynon. No, 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 no. No, dude, I killed the freaking RG. Oh, okay, well, two in one episode, peeps. Two insanely high level flying creatures that I would have loved to tame die right in front of me. And I think both of them were killed because of me. Gosh dang it. Why would it fly directly into the murder pit? That's so upsetting. Are any of you good levels? No. No. Gosh dang it. Well, at least we can go ahead and put these gates back around the Dodicarus to protect it. Oh, that's so upsetting. We've got a lot of meat for the Serato babies. I really wanted the Skeletal RG. It looks so goofy. I'm really sad, peeps. I'm really sad about that. Well, heck, peeps. It looks like our flyer luck may be turning around. Now, they might die like the other two, but we have a group of Argus here, and one of them is a female 290 with 56 points into melee, 49 into health, which is a really good roll. And then there's also a male 290 somewhere in this group. Now, the only issue is how am I going to isolate the ones that I don't want? I can't bola an RG, right? Yeah, no, absolutely not. So I guess we have to try and kill level 40 first. Okay, cool. That was a fail of a jump. All right, which one is this? Okay. Oh, wow. Cool. This is level 40. Okay. So we'll go ahead, kill you. And we'll let the other RGs eat the corpse. Okay. So yeah. Okay. And the 290 male has great weight and stamina. Okay. Absolutely. All right, yep, I definitely want to tame both these 290 male and female. Now, unfortunately, there's a 280 male as well who has a decent, actually very low health and yeah, bad everything else. So the other male is definitely better. I 
don't want to kill one of the good RGs, so hopefully this one has the lowest health. I have to be careful of my own health. I was AFK for a little bit, and a Hyanodon pack, like, ate me a little bit, but there we go. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. All right, let's, uh, I guess, get to work trapping these guys. Maybe we can trap both of them and tame both of them at the same time. That'd be pretty entertaining if we could pull that off. All right, let's go ahead and make the trap. There we go. First door and second door. I really need to make, like, the vanilla doors just so they're not automatically opening like that, but there we go. Oh, the RGs, have they left me alone? I, I guess they have. I don't even know where they are anymore. All right, but let's try and get both of them in this trap at the same time. All right, both of them have followed me in, and I left that open just big enough for me to walk out. Oh, God, I also left it big enough for them to get out. Gosh dang it. Okay, yeah, those are those are pretty wide open gaps. Okay, we're gonna have to close those. All right, attempt number two. This is gonna be a little awkward, but hopefully, there we go. Okay, all right, now can they get out of that? Nah, there, there, sh there should be no way. Unless they can get out through the center one here. Now I gotta be careful, this is not on manual. So if I get near it, it will open. But I'm pretty sure this is them trapped. They might be able to get through that first one though. So you know what I'm gonna do? They're both chilling on this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There we go, so now they're just stuck in this one little area, which is perfect. All right, let's go ahead, start knocking them out. We have 85 darts, which should be enough for two RGs. How much Torpor do you two have? Uh, 11K each? Yeah, that should be more than enough. Oh man, peeps, look at this. It's a max level male Serata with 56 points into health. That is very tempting. I will not lie. We could potentially tame this. All we really need to do is get the hemoglobin cocktails again, which means I need to go kill more Serratos. But we definitely have all the stuff for the kibble and, and whatnot, so we could tame that, but I don't know. I can't remember what our max health stat is right now on our Ceratosaurus, but if it's lower than what I'm expecting, we might as well try and go for it because, I mean, we're still waiting for eggs to give us the perfect baby anyway. Oh, you know what, peeps? We need to go through this cave. Not now, but, but uh, like, eventually because it just looks so cool. Now that we have a Deinonychus... Oh, gosh, I forgot the cave lag is immense with this, but... Yeah, now that we have a Deinonychus, we could climb up the, like, steep cliffs in here really effectively. There we go. I could finally move. But, yeah, the whole reason we didn't check this out before is it is really just a straight-up drop. And those are aberration rocks, so it looks like this might be an aberration cave because here's also the green gems, I'm assuming. Hi! What? Did you just follow me in here? Rude. All right, well, like I said, we're not exploring this cave at the moment, but that Carno really seems to want me to. Maybe he'll be here whenever we... Oh, okay. Oh, well, good job, Deinonychus. Yeah, but maybe it'll be here whenever we come into into this cave next. Oh, oh no. Is, uh, there's a, like a lip here. Where's my torch? There we go. Okay, we can climb up right here. Alrighty, peeps. These RGs should be tamed any second now. Let's go ahead and get them both off the taming list. Hopefully, they come out with amazing stats they've got really good base stats both of them so i really hope to see at least 70s maybe even peeking into the 80s if we're if we're extremely lucky did i mistime this by the way oh yep, there we go okay i was like i, was like, I, I could have swore prime meat fed at 50 food but there we go back to back rg taming the quickest rg pair you've ever seen peeps and here we go 79 weight, 76 food, 76 melee. This is already an, uh, just an insane Argentavis. So let's see what this one has. Oh, 79 melee and 68 health. Okay, cool. So even though ni neither of them really had an amazing health stat, the female comes in clutch with amazing health. All right. Yeah, peeps. These uh, these are really good RGs. And you know what? I'm going to go... No, not, not wandering. I'm going to go ahead... And immediately start mating them right now and okay good we're back on full health so we're gonna continue to sap blood from ourselves to get our second hemogoblin and then we're gonna go tame that max level serato as well so um i'm not quite sure what's up with the serato peeps but he seems to be pretty friendly uh, so i'm hoping he'll just no 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 come on back in oh thank you thank you for actually coming back in um yeah, I don't know why the Serato isn't attacking, but I am on very low health after a trike charge, so if he does attack, 
I'm probably gonna get one shot. Okay, just uh, stay there. <laughs> I am perplexed to say the least, peeps. Very, very perplexed. I'm also really, there we go. There, just stand. All right, okay, all right. Uh, you can start attacking me now, Serato, if you, if you so please. What is your deal? Okay, you, you look really cool. I like the red and yellow and then the black spines. That looks really cool. You need some time alone, maybe. Maybe we need to de-render you to fix you? I think so. I, uh, I'll be back, I, su I suppose. This is, uh, this is very bizarre. Alrighty, peeps, here we go. The last feed of this Serato. The number to beat is 70. So we already have 70 into health. Let's see if this Serato could beat that or if this was just a waste of time and we have another high level male Serato and oh, 76 and naturally 84 into oxygen and 81 into food so you know just just so cool thank you Ark. i love getting the highest stats and into the useless ones consistently but you know i can't i you know i can't complain i can't complain with 76 and health that is an amazing amount now unfortunately that means all the progress that we've made with stat combining is gonna get a little soft reset here with just a new stat that we need to put into the breed pile but it's, it's it'll be worth it in the end peeps right right i really hope i don't end up replacing these stratos like quickly with something else that would suck oh, oh my gosh all right we need to wrap this up peeps i've been here for a long long time breeding these serratos oh finally peeps oh my gosh you guys have no idea how long this has taken but we finally have best stat baby stratosaurus also check out how big their tail is i don't think i've actually shown the baby serrato in this episode yet but look at that it's like a whole cactus on its butt that is its actual tail it's very interesting Oh, I, I wish it wasn't so dark. Oh, wow, cool. <laughs> it's like the torches heard me and said, you know what? It's gonna get even darker, but that actually helped because this egg, it got the colors of the new strata. We just got the red and yellow accents. Oh, it's so good. All right. Oh, I'm so glad to be done with this, peeps. I've been recording this particular episode for multiple real life days now, just trying and hoping to get the good combination of stats here but here he is you better have been worth it peeps but yes i i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here peeps it is late i am tired this almost went on to yet another real life day but thankfully ark was finally kind enough to me to give me the serato that we needed so thank you all so much for watching i still haven't even ridden one of these yet i i am very eager to i was very tempted to saddle up one of these and and just go about with it just to experience it but i wanted my first serato experience to be you know a proper one and with this guy it will be so thank you all so much for watching like i said and i will see you all in the next video Bye bye wait actually before we go we are at day 37 i'm gonna put on screen what episode i started or excuse me what day i started on because i'm very curious i'm not gonna look at it now because i just want to go to bed but <laughs> i feel like i've spent almost half of the playthrough in terms of days just doing this all right all right but goodbye for real this time